Let's test our knowledge now. Um, given that we learned about current, voltage, and resistance, all right? So we have a question here. And this question, um, it's a simple circuit, a simple, um, and you can determine that this circuit is in a series connection, all right? So it's a series circuit. Now, with this circuit, we have that um, we have two resistors connected there in series. Um, resistor A having a resistance of three ohms. Resistor B having a resistance of ohms. Um, connected to a, a power source that has delivers a total of three volts of EMF. All right, so total voltage of three volts. Now. It doesn't give us the um, current delivered by the battery source. It doesn't give us a total current. So that's the one of the first things we want to find. It says um, determine the current, the current from the battery. Now, in order to find current, as we as we know, um, one we know a formula I I is equal to Q over T. But this question doesn't give us anything about electric charge, and it doesn't give us anything about time. So that formula cannot be used. Another equation that we know is that in, that entails current is the use of um, Ohm's law, which states that um, voltage is equal to current by resistance. All right. Now, in this case, we're referring to the current from the battery. Now, anything we term, anytime we're talking about something from the battery, it means the total, the total value, right? The main amount of value. So, in this case, we want to find the total current given that we know the total total voltage and also we need to find out what is the total resistance good so that is how you break down the answer of a question so in this case so we want to find we want to find the total current right and given that v is equal to ir so therefore i is going to be equal to v over r so we want to know what is the total voltage divided by the total resistance. Good? Now, so in this case, the total voltage there is the EMF that is given, right? Which is the 3 ohms. The 3 ohms. The resistance in this case, we want to know what is the total resistance in this circuit. And because it is a series circuit, in order to find the total resistance, we need to add them across. Because in a series circuit, the total resistance is equal to the sum of the resistances. In a series, series circuit, the re total resistance is equal to the sum of the resistances. So therefore, it is equal to resistance A plus resistance B. Good? So that gives us a formula is equal to 3 plus 2. Volts, sorry. Right? So that is equal to 3 volts divided by 5 ohms. Good? So the total current delivered there will be 0 0.6 amps. That's the total current delivered there. So that's how we work down the question. Now the second part of the question is asking what is the potential difference across A? Meaning what is the volt uh, sorry the voltage across A? So if we know now the current is 0 0.6 amps. And our knowledge tells us that whatever current is delivered at the battery source in a series circuit. The current is constant. So it means that the current here is also 0 0.6 amps. The current here is also 0 0.6 amps. So now we want to find the potential difference across A. So in that case, so part B, voltage at A is equal to the current multiplied by the resistance at A. So that is 0 0.6 amps 0 0.6 amps multiplied by the resistance at a which is 3 ohms which is 1.8 volts good 
Then we want to find what is the potential difference across B. Now, before I even calculate it, one of the things I want you to know is that the total voltage in a series circuit, it divides up, it divides up throughout. So if we just found out that 1.8 volts is here, it means the balance of the three is going to be in here, right? Which is 1.2 without even calculating it because 1.8 plus 1.2 should be equal to three. So let's prove, let's check to see if our answer is going to be 1.2. So working so far is that the voltage at B is going to be equal to the current multiplied by the resistance at B. Remember the current is constant because it's a series circuit. The current is constant. So it's 0 0.6 multiplied by 2 ohms, which is 0 0.6 by 2 is 1.2 volts. Good? So we realize that 1.8 plus 1.2 is going to add back to the total voltage delivered at the battery so the EMF all right so that is a simple um, series circuit in terms of how we utilize um, the formulas to answer a question all right so we have a second question here this one is a parallel circuit right um, why is it why is it a parallel circuit because the components are connected in parallel Right. One of the ways to identify that is by looking at the um, polarity of the the components. Right. I'm going to help you looking at that. So, how to how to notice that? To understand polarity for a parallel circuit, that the components are connected positive to positive, and negative to negative, rather than positive negative. Good. Right. Because in a series circuit, the components are connected parallel and um, positive to negative, positive to negative. But in parallel, the components are connected positive, positive, negative, negative. All right? So if we start here, this is the positive side of the battery. It goes around to, must connect to the negative side of, us, of anything. So these two are negative. Positive connected to negative, connected to negative. All right? And if this is positive, that positive goes around there back to negative. This positive has to be positive as well, goes back up to negative. Good. So we realize hey, that this connection breaks out positive, negative connected to negative, and positive connected to <coughs> excuse me, positive. Right. So what we notice there now, we want to find out what is the total resistance. What is the total resistance in this circuit? And in this total resistance here, we want to find out it's a parallel connection. We see that A has a resistance of 6 ohms and B has a resistance of 2 ohms. So, using our formula to find resistance, you can de determine the total resistance in the circuit. And to remember, right, to find the total resistance, it's 1 over resistance, um, 1 over total resistance is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So, it becomes... Good. So that will be our notation that it becomes um, 1 over 6 plus 1 over 2. And that works out to be and the total resistance, therefore, is going to be 1.5 ohms. Right? 1.5 ohms is your answer there. Now we want to find the current delivered from the battery. Now, as you remember, as I keep stating, that the current from the battery is asking for the total current. Good? In order to find the total current, we want to find, we want to know what is the total voltage and what is the total resistance. The total, re total voltage, again, is the EMF, and the total resistance is what we just worked out there. So, therefore, I total is going to be equal to V total over R total. So, it is 3... So your volts divided by 1.5 ohms, which is 2 amps. So the total 
current delivered there is 2 amps. Now, this question, next question asks to find the potential difference across X and Y. And because we know it is a parallel circuit, we know that the voltage delivered is always constant. The voltage delivered in a parallel circuit is constant. So, the 3, three volts of current there is going to pass throughout. It's going to be the same throughout this, um, this entire circuit. So, therefore, the answer for this one is still 3 volts. Next question says, what is the potential difference across A? It's the same as the value across X and Y. It is the same 3 volts. I could ask the question, what is the potential difference um, across B? It is going to be the same value of 3 volts because it is a parallel circuit and the voltage is constant. Question now, what is the current in A? We want to determine the current in A, i.e. And it basically means what is the voltage in A divided by the resistance in A. Alright, your subscript must always match. Because we want to find the current in A, we have to use the voltage in A divided by the resistance in A. So it gives you the voltage in A is 3 volts divided by the resistance in A, which is 6 ohms. 6 ohms, which gives you an answer of 0 0.5 amps. 0 0.5 amps. Now we want to find what is the current in B. And for those of you following, you can remember um, in a parallel circuit, the current varies and that means they both add up to the total. So if we know the total was, was 2 amps and we found out that one of the current there for the first component is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 amps, so therefore the remainder should be 1.5 amps. Alright, so let's prove that the remainder, the current in B is going to be 1.5 amps. So it is CB over RB, which gives you 3 volts over the resistance in B is 2 ohms, which is 1.5 amps. Alright, your answer there is 1.5 amps. And that concludes... Testing um, the formulas using both a series circuit and a parallel circuit. So you always have to look closely at what the question is asking. Once we're asking a question based on um, something delivered by the battery, it is asking for the total, right? So we use the total current, the total voltage, the total resistance. If we want to ask um, to find something related to a specific component, then we want everything related to that component. So the voltage. Of that component the current of that component and the resistance of that component and also we have to remember what are the constant terms as it re as it relates to a given circuit so the constant terms for a series circuit constant ter constant terms for a parallel circuit so from here you can practice you can do any question once you follow those instructions